So this is my fight prediction for Kenneth Sims Jr. versus Jose Perez. Kenneth Sims Jr. is a guy who's very athletic, um, can fight in orthodox or southpaw. He's quick twitch, has a very good jab. Um, when he fights from the southpaw position, he has a very good overhand left, uh, left hook, right hook. But he's usually fighting in the orthodox position. You know, um, Jose Perez, he's a guy who's very aggressive, fights on the front foot. He tends to um, be awkward a little bit, doesn't really jab a lot. Um, he does jab, but he's more so trying to set up a one-two or throw combinations to the body. Um, he's more of a rhythm puncher, but... He can time his punches and his rhythm as far as his footwork, but um, overall, you can basically figure out what he's doing. But he's so aggressive that it really doesn't matter most of the time if you're not going to be aggressive and stop what he's doing. He's going to cause a lot of issues. And with a guy like uh, Kenneth Sims Jr., with his jab, it, he can basically stop everything that uh, Perez is doing. And that Perez can't really handle his jab, which is going to be a big part of the fight for me uh, when it comes to uh, this fight. Perez, he, he leaps in a lot, uh, throws wide punches. And usually when that's going on, um, you can't really take advantage of what a guy is doing, especially when a guy like Perez has decent power. But you can't just leap in on certain punches and think you can take advantage of uh, openings, and Kenneth Sims doesn't make that many uh, mistakes in a fight, so that's going to cause a lot of problems with a guy like Jose Perez. He needs to actually be more aggressive, but on the outside, he needs to pick his spots and not try to rush in because Kenneth Sims, he would definitely uh, be an excellent counterpuncher in this situation. So I think his counterpunching ability is going to uh, work, work wonders in this fight. And if uh, uh, Perez tries to be aggressive and doesn't jab a lot, he's going to end up getting knocked out or possibly stopped. Um, I think as smart as he is, he'll realize after a while that um, the jab is going to be controlling the fight. And he's going to try to exchange and outbox um Kenneth Sims, but it's not going to work. So the only, only option he will have is to try to outpunch him or to um, go to the body, which I feel like he will try to do, but he usually leaps in with that overhand right. And if you're a guy like Kenneth Sims, you need to try to uh, figure out something you can set up or counter in that scenario just because he leaves himself open a lot and you want to take advantage of that situation. And uh, with Perez, he's usually moving around. Uh, his feet is usually wide when he's throwing certain shots. He's usually not in the same spot. His feet is usually not set. He doesn't sit on a lot of his punches, so can't really take advantage of the power that he has. But um, in this situation, I think Kendall Sims is going to outbox him. And it's not going to be much that Perez can really do. Um, I think Perez is a very good fighter. It's going to be a close fight. He could upset him. His power is very underrated. And what he brings to the table is um, just the awkwardness and just the aggressiveness that, that he has. He, he's very aggressive. He doesn't stop. Uh, has a motor. The stamina is there. But if you're asleep or in the pocket too long, he will end up stopping you. And he's very slept on. I feel like he brings a lot to the table. So if a guy like Kenneth Sims goes in there and uh, hangs in the pocket too long against Perez, you end up being stopped. And the power is there. He's not really uh, an easy fight at all. He's going to cause a lot of issues, and he can't change the fight anytime. But But uh, in this fight right here, man, I don't know. I feel like Kenneth Sims is going to try to break him down. Throw some combination to the body, and it's most likely gonna go to a decision.
gonna be a decision fight. Perez is gonna be in the slug slug match. He's gonna let his hands fly. But uh I don't know if it'll be enough as far as against a guy like Sims who's a technician. But uh that's all I got, like and subscribe.